So what I have here is a basic network and I have enabled a, a voice application. Just have a quick look at that. My application is they entitled voice and it's using the opnet default PCM quality speech. Set up a profile to use that voice application. As we can see here, it's called voice underscore P and it's using the voice application there. Now what I want to do is I want to set up my voice caller to communicate um, with one of either the voice called one or voice called two. So I'm going to set up the profile in this station to start with. And I apply the voice profile. And I'm going to set up supported services in each of these workstations. And we can see here that I already have that set. And in the other workstation, supported services, I just add that. Voice application is now supported in both of these workstations and the profile for using the voice application is supporting this voice caller. So what will happen is OpNet will randomly choose a workstation that can service the application in the network. So this voice caller could make the call either to voice call 1 or voice call 2. Now I want to set this up so that it only calls voice call 1. In order to do that I need to set the client address. Now has been set at NIC1, and I'm going to set the client address in the uh, other node. I'll call that NIC2. I then need to set up this voice caller node so that the destination for the application is going to be one of these two workstations. Now, note that my client address is different from the network node address. So, this is NIC1, but the network node address is voice underscore called underscore one. In the destination preferences, I'm going to set up for one application, which is a voice application, so I'm setting this up for the voice destination, and the actual name is going to be NIC1. So I've now set up this network so that this voice caller will only communicate with voice underscore called underscore one. I could set it up to communicate with both and change the selection weight so it's more likely to select one than the other. I'll show you this in destination preferences again, voice destination again and then I add another row to have NIC2 but I'll take the selection weight down to let's say 5 and this gives NIC1 you know, twice the probability of being selected than NIC2. So that is how we set up destination preferences in OpNet.